What is going on guys, Apple Fox here and iOS 10 got updated, again. Last week we received Beta 5 and now Developer Beta 6 is available. So just like every time I'll try to give you as much information as possible. So without any further hesitation, let's jump into it. The beta updates are getting smaller and smaller every time with always less new features. This one is just about 80 megabytes, so it doesn't take long to download and install this update. This also proves that we're getting closer to the official version of iOS 10, so we don't receive any new features but many bugs are getting removed and overall the iOS needs to run smoothly. So when taking a look at my capacity, before updating to 6 beta it was 12.15 gigs and after it stayed exactly the same. So it isn't very usual, but luckily it didn't shrunk. And what I also noticed is that available storage got a little higher from 268 megabytes to 572, so maybe some unneeded files were deleted. Now let's move on to the changes this beta comes with. So as I already said, this version is not focused on adding new features. So there aren't many new features, but there are some changes present in the latest beta. The first thing, or the first change, is not the only thing that appeared in the 6th beta. When the update dropped, in the settings the indicator for the update has been changed from blue rectangle shape to red circular shape, which of course disappears when you install the update. Not a big change, but it definitely looks a lot different and also because it's red, it prompts you to install this update and it is just a lot more visible than before. So if it appeared when the update dropped, it means my device was running iOS 10 beta 5 at the time. So technically, it's a thing that appeared in the previous beta but has a lot to do with this actual beta 6. I couldn't know it because now it appeared for the first time. Until now, every time you restarted your phone or just turn it off for some reason and you turn it on again, you had to put in your Apple ID password in case you wanted to download an app from the App Store. So if you download apps using your Touch ID, you can do it immediately after restarting your iPhone. Not sure if it's a bug or a new feature because it was there for a reason. And the reason is that it's definitely more secure than it is now. On the other side, there aren't many ways to do anything by other people that got your phone in their hand. Because even though you don't have to put in your password, you have to place your finger to move on, so it's also possible that it is a new feature. You can of course delete the stock apps like contacts, maps or notes from your iPhone. But if you delete calculator, which is a part of your control center, it is no longer visible in the control center. So I got really surprised when I saw it for the first time, because I didn't know what it is. Of course, this isn't something iOS 10 beta 6 came with, but I never really mentioned it before, so I wanted to include it here. Some people also say that Siri got some improvements as well and now it gives you more appropriate answers when you ask for an app that has been deleted. I'm not sure how to feel about it because when I asked Siri to open up Twitter, which was already deleted in beta 5, I got an answer saying it couldn't be open, sorry about that. But in beta 6 it's different. As you can see it just jumps into another app which has nothing to do with Twitter, so it's quite weird I would say. In my opinion it wasn't really improved that well. That's basically all in terms of changes and new stuff. Other than that, the overall performance looks to be a lot better. When considering that we're getting closer to the final drop of iOS 10, it is nothing but great. So thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like if you did, and I will be making more videos about iOS 10 and other things, so make sure you subscribe in case you don't want to miss anything important. Have a great day and see you next time.